whoa, did I just hear that right? Vlogmas already? Run it back. If you're new here, let me fill you in on what vlog, oh gosh, okay, let's reset that back up. If you're new here, let me fill you, oh my god. Sorry, Vlogmas is starting off rough this year, but if you're new here, Vlogmas is where I do daily uploads from December 1st all the way to Christmas. It's a daily vlog, it's a daily ritual that I like to spend my day with you guys so you can follow along every single day. It's safe to assume you can expect some S14 videos. 100% expect some RX-7 stuff. The harsh reality is I actually think there might be a rat's nest in this car, so we're definitely gonna have to dive into that. But more on that later. 100% safe to say to see some super content, there's actually a box in the back that we need to put on, but later this month, we'll get into that. And of course, my current favorite car, the 300 BRZ. There are so many different types of videos that you guys are gonna get this month. All you gotta do is just stay tuned. First things first, let's address the elephant in the room that I haven't talked about yet. Kinda have a new haircut going. I, I, I'm not sure if I'm feeling it yet, so if there's any people out there watching, they're like, T has a new hairstyle, I'm not sure I'm feeling about it. We're on the same page, but we're trying something new. It's Vlogmas 2022, baby. It's just full of new surprises. the beauty of this year is we are currently doing a giveaway with my E90 M3. We actually just dropped three new t-shirts, three new sweatshirts, a new hat, new key hook design, four new license plate frames. Everything just went live on the website today. So if you're trying to get entries to win my E90 M3, which we're going to see a lot of this month, go ahead over, check out thehuntcompany.com and get your entries today. I'm going to be taking this car this morning and Sabrina is actually going to be taking her Corvette. We've had an issue with this car and we're finally going to get it solved today. Does anyone notice any problems with this car? I'm giving you a couple seconds. I'm going to start zooming in on it. Her interior has started to bake in the sun and is actually lifting in all of the corners. Look at that. That is a sad sight to see. Last month, we actually went into Chevy and told them about it and they said, no worries. The car's under warranty. So we had to order a whole new interior set for her car. They just showed up today and we're going to go drop this car off this morning and get the interior swapped so we can get this car looking very nice. Also, some of you guys have a great set of eyes and you notice that Sabrina isn't on her old TE37s anymore. Now these beauties, either you love them or you hate them looked really good on the car but she ran over the fattest nail and this tire cannot hold any air anymore so rather than putting a weird random stock size on the rest of the te's last night i actually swapped them out i'm gonna pull the nail out and put a patch in that tire so that thing is ready to go but i have to be honest this car on these stock wheels if the fit was a little bit better it would actually look a lot nicer and i don't hate it but now that that is all explained let's go to chevy and drop this car off <laughs> Nothing like a crisp morning air and this V8. Listen to the downshifts. Oh, I'm gonna scare this kid. I actually, I'm refraining from a downshift because if I did, that kid would literally have some poopy pants after I did it, but I'll do it now a little bit farther away. Downshift. Oh. I don't know why when I first got this car, I thought it was so weird to me to think that BMW made a V8, but they made the best sounding V8. Seriously don't know a better V8 than even like Ferrari's flat plane, like this sounds better to me. Just the way it shifts is intoxicating. <laughs> now of course that is all valves open and we can just grab the remote and we can close it up. And now it's very, very quiet and it actually doesn't make a lot of noise at all. And that's one of the beautiful things about this setup is now you can't even hear it. Looks like we got Sabrina all fired up because of course I missed it, but she just floored it going by me. We've made it to our local Chevy. She's gonna go drop that off and we're gonna go get some breakfast. Cause your boy's hungry and it's almost 11 o'clock and I haven't eaten anything yet today. I worked out and didn't even eat. For those of you who go to the gym, you know the struggle of that. It's one of the most terrible feelings in the whole entire world. Aftermarket backup cams. 
Gotta love it. Maybe this is something that you guys in the comments can help me decipher. So this is a giveaway car. You guys are gonna be, well, one of you guys is gonna win this car in the next like 22 days or something like that. I left the OEM wheel in this car and I'll be honest, it's been used. Definitely shows a little bit of wear, but this is like the OG style, the version one of the OEM aftermarket style wheel from BMW. It has shift lights, it has a little screen here that shows you different temperatures and all that cool stuff. It's amazing, I love it. This is the one that I actually prefer, but there's a version two that's a little more updated, that's full Alcantara, has the shift lights, but I don't think it's as cool. I'm not sure if I wanna give this car away with this steering wheel because like I said, it definitely like shows its use. The Alcantara is a little bit worn down. I'm thinking about just buying a second steering wheel that's the newer version because you cannot find the version one wheel anymore. This is the version one wheel. There's only version twos. I cannot find an OEM brand new version one wheel, which I think is so much cooler than version two. Should I just get a second wheel as a backup for someone if they want to swap the new wheel in so they have a brand new style looking wheel that's version two not version one i don't know what to do let me know down below if you win this car would you like to have a backup steering wheel that is fresh and new or do you like the version one wheel the version one wheel is cooler but the version two wheel will look newer as far as alcantara wise because it wears pretty quickly i'm distraught about it and i don't know what to do so you guys have to help me figure it out so i was trying to figure out why these sunglasses are so dirty because they look relatively clean and as you guys know we were just in the desert i just took them off and looked inside <laughs> look at the filth and grime You're disgusting. i just wiped the side on the right look at the side on the left it's just full <gasps> of dirt from the desert Ew. i was like why are these so crusty looking i figured it out you're crusty i'm not crusty. you're a crust boy look at that there you, Did you go get the, you didn't get that side i'm so sorry sir all right we've picked up the package now we're out. All right, so we are pulling up to the Hunt Co. office. I've been here like every single day because there are so many orders to pack with this M3 giveaway. So shout out to all you guys. But I'm rolling up to the shop. I'm hoping that everyone who's working is inside the offices because there's like this ongoing war at the shop here we're always, of always scaring each, scare other. each other. So I'm gonna park in the back. I rolled up as quietly as possible. Valve's closed in the M3. And we're gonna try and walk in there and scare someone. But Hopefully they're not just packing orders out there because that's probably what is the situation, but let's find out. Boom! Why didn't you get closer to her? Why you, you could have like attacked her. Wow. Where did you come from? Wow. We were gonna scare you. I'm sad. Sabrina kind of blew it. You said wait. there was a surprise. What's the surprise? All right, are you ready? What is it? Is it a thing? Did you give me a Christmas no. present? No, 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 no. Let's present? walk through. Let's wait. walk through. Wow, I can, I can already smell it. You can already smell it. I can already I smell it. This is the first <laughs> Okay, fine. It's a full oh rewind. Behind you. Oh, wow. office like, because we have a seven co office and there's like oh nothing gosh, on the walls study. and we have like i don't wow. know where they are yeah, I don't, we have, I don't, all we have, those. We have like a million so posters yeah. and artwork oh Dude. and i'm like guys why don't you like decorate this place and make it a little more homey and they text us that they had a surprise today and it looks oh great gosh, wow, it looks this so is the perfect time better. for an integration first day of vlogmas e 90 m3 giveaway we have a bunch of new products that got added to the website today which i told you about in the beginning of this video so well, let's start with the sweatshirts you guys love your sweatshirts i don't blame you i'm gonna start off with my personal favorite who would have thought that light per alicia what's the actual color on this it's purple it's magenta it's not magenta i think it's it's like a light Purple, Lilac. so cool. I absolutely love this hoodie. It comes in a matching t-shirt, which I believe is this one right here. We have it in black and we kind of kept that color scheme. The next sweatshirt, Race in Peace. I love this design so much. The orange and the yellow just really pops. It's a good looking sweaty. That also comes in a t-shirt. And then we have what I'm wearing today. It's called Lost Without You. And it's super cool because the steering wheel, it's like textured. So the wheel itself <laughs> is actually textured, which is really, really dope. So you have like the actual hand grips are a different texture than the rest of the wheel. And then it also comes in a burgundy sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. And there's also a hat and all that stuff, but I'll give you guys a little sneak peeks on Vlogmas Day 2 of that. But everything's live on the website right now. Every $5 you spend gets you one entry towards the M3, which is why I've been here every single day packing orders. Also, key holder. 
Wow. For all time. Live now, baby. <laughs> For the next hour or so, I'm gonna try and put in some damage and put a dent in all these orders, but I wanted to give a little shout out to Ian Rosales, Jose Alessandro Cortez, I can't say the last name, Fabian Kwanza, I'm terrible at pronouncing names, Jardel Pino, Ingrid Gonzalez, Angela Vecnek, Benjamin Adams, and Victor Marzininko. I can't pronounce last name. Hopefully none of you guys are ordering this. I'm seeing a lot of girl names on these orders. I'm like, well, I wonder if that's probably all your guys' girlfriends buying you guys orders. And if I say one of the girlfriend's names as you are watching this and I expose your girlfriend's Christmas present, I'm sorry. Because that's probably like gonna happen at some point because I'm gonna try to give a little shout outs to all the orders in every vlog. And if I expose Angela Venek's boyfriend on his Christmas gift. Just don't show what she got him. I'm not gonna say that you have a Hunt & Co. Veil site tee. In XL, I would never do that. <laughs> so if I just expose that gift, shout out to you, Angela's boyfriend. Merry Christmas. I just left the Hunco shop in a hurry because I just got a phone call from the driver who's dropping off the G82 M4, and he said that he's gonna be at the shop in the next hour and a half. I'm so excited. Sabrina still hasn't even seen this I'm car. I'm driving it home. Don't forget, you guys. This was supposed to be my car, but then TJ snaked it out from under did me. I, did I tell them that story? This M4 was going to be Sabrina's replacement for the C8. Then I saw the opportunity to get Sabrina that Urus because it was a really good car or a good price. And I was like, hey, surprise. Enjoy the Urus. And I was like, ah, ha ha, I'm gonna keep the like, M4 wait. for myself. And no, this is what happened off camera. I was like, wait, so I'm gonna have the M4 and the Urus? And TJ was like, Oh, actually, no. I'm gonna have the F4. So I keep saying to Sabrina, I'll let you drive it if you want. You can see what you're missing out on. And I'm really excited for her to see it because, man, that car really stole my heart. The interior, the what? detail. Yeah, I mean, other what? than other than I you. I thought I stole your heart. Other than you. <laughs> BMWs, man. Why has it taken me this long to get back into these machines? I don't know. Dropping off the M3, getting a ride down to the shop in Anthony's car. Finally about to take delivery. It's in the very back at the bottom. Oh, baby. Oh. Yeah, you can't see anything. Oh, doctor. Yeah, hey, yeah, just get this guy to run us yeah. over head on. No, it's it's fine. We can crash. It's all good. We're about to get the M4. Yeah, yeah true. Let's go right yeah. here. Fuck Anthony's car. Fuck my car. Piece of shit. Okay, guys, that was a great. Hate this thing. I've already taken delivery of it, but man, I'm really excited to have this car back. It's weird having a car be real outside of home. Then when it gets here, you're like, oh, like it is real. Like this is. For, I don't. I don't know how to explain. That probably makes no sense, but it's very. It's a very cool feeling. There it is. Oh, you can see the BRG from here. Oh. We are like the last car in this truck stop. It's all the way in the back, so I'm just gonna have you guys enjoy this moment of it starting up and him driving it down. I think it's actually facing frontwards too, which normally they face forward. This camera has some pretty good low light, so I'm sure, oh, you can see the pics now from the front. I'm seeing a lot of comments from you guys saying how much you hate the front bumper on this M4. Generally, the whole entire internet kind of hates it, and there is some cool aftermarket options to replace the front bumper, but I have to be honest with you guys, the front bumper of the G8 80s has really grown on me. I planned to originally change that like off the bat. Stock life, so quiet. I don't know if I'm gonna change it, which might upset some of you guys. I have some plans to make the stock front end look good. And I'm excited to showcase it because I think I'm gonna change some of your guys' minds, kind of how I changed my own mind because trust me, I was on the same boat. I used to hate it, but it's grown on me a lot. Sometimes I wonder if I give these guys anxiety when I film them pulling it off, like as if like I'm waiting for them to screw up and really I'm just so excited and I wanna show Showcase this, but sometimes I wonder if they think it's kind of weird. Oh, yes, baby. Hell yeah. Oh, she's finally home. Mm. Now, this M4 is gonna have a much better life here in California than it was gonna have in cold, frosty, icy New York City. Now, I'm excited to go bring this over to the shop because we're just outside and show it to Sabrina and have her see it because I know that she's really, really excited about seeing this car. Oh, it feels so good, man. It's only been like a week and I've been driving the truck, I've been driving the BRZ, and wow, it feels so good to get back in this car. Oh. I'm just gonna summon her out. TJ. Dude, I don't even know what to say. Take a big whiff. <laughs> <She> smells good. <laughs> it smells like little Germany and New York and... Sabrina, come sit. Oh, Sabrina, you haven't seen it either. I'm truly speechless, just like Nate. Yeah. Do you want an earth by any chance? Come sit. Oh, it smells... Oh, she smells fresh off the press. Oh, the little M4 lights up. Oh! Oh! Sabrina is definitely nice. regretting her decision. It wasn't my decision, Sean! Oh, he snaked this car for me and everybody oh, knows it. It's amazing. This is really cool. 
And I can change all these colors to be any any color you want. It could be two tone. Oh Watch my turn this god! Off. The orange. Yeah, dude, it's. <gasps> This is gonna be this is gonna be a good build. This is gonna be. This is gonna, this gonna be. Gonna be this, this is this is gonna be top tier. Oh, what do you think of that seat, dude? Damn. This is a quality seat. Let me get a little adjustment here. Oh, and there's back seat. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. barely, but there is a back no, seat. My favorite piece is no, this. Look. So that's like wait, the wait. one thing I'm kind of like iffy about. No, I like it. The penis holder. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I saw the comments on the internet were like, oh, the nice little pee. It's like for your meat. Hold my meat. <laughs> for your Just meat. for your meat to sit here. Hold my meat flops out when we're doing a buck seat. Nice. Buck 80. <laughs> Hold my meat. But I'm gonna roll around to the rear of the shop. I have a brand new Hunt and Coming license plate frame that just dropped today that needs to go on this car. Nate, why don't you take take a little ride with me? Take a ride. I just took off this license plate frame that it came from. Shout out to White Plains, we appreciate you. There's also a badge on here, which no disrespect to the dealership, but we ain't gonna run that. We're gonna probably take that off first thing tomorrow morning. It's just too cold out here. My hands are freezing, but I am gonna take the opportunity to throw on this new license plate frame. I chose to go with the more money, more car parts license plate frame. I just think it's gonna look good on this car. First mod, uncoat license plate frame. <laughs> Do we, do we classify it as a mod, mod though? I mean, to the right person, maybe? I think back when I was like 17, I was like, I think I even had it in my mod list. I was like, Greddy license plate frame on my B or Z. <laughs> oh, here's a better question. Is tint a mod? <sighs> so is what? a mod, tint. Is a, tint mod a mod is short for what? A modification. So is it tint a modification? Yes, but yes, you know, is a so like there's a difference of performance mods. You know, it just depends. It's more so the context. Someone's like, "Yo, what's your build on your car?" Oh, you don't. Like, I'm not gonna be like, "Oh, well, I got five percent in the front. <laughs> I got a twenty percent on the front windshield. Oh yeah, and a built turbo and, and a built motor." Like so true. So, so true. like it's really context. Even but I know that first mod. We're winning for car part. I like that one. That's sick. I'm digging into the little box that IND sent me. They sent me the paint matched front and rear grills. They sent me some more stuff for the car. This was an OEM M Performance gas cap and this is three I'm sick on. Wow. If BMW did it, I'm okay with it. Because <laughs> I am a BMW boy now. That's fair. I'm not gonna put it on right now, but sick. can't always really see it. I'm All right, Sabrina's gonna drive to dinner because I think she at least deserves that. <gasps> What are your initial thoughts? What are your initial thoughts? Okay, Tell me about okay, the way okay. it looks, this is, the way it this, feels. Is, this is what's going through what my mind. What are you thinking right about now. the interior color? How's okay. it all vibing? Okay, okay, this is what's going through my mind right now. Shoot, this is really cool. Like the interior, this wheel, this. You know I'm a, I've said before, I've told you guys before that I'm like a sucker for interiors versus exteriors. This lighting all in here, this wheel. I just, it, wow, it's truly a masterpiece. The back seats, the color orange on green. I knew I liked it in the photos, but holy shit. Like, she's beautiful. I'm kind of, I'm excited to drive it, but kind of nervous. Is she, a, is she a boat compared to the C8 or is she? Um, well, you're not low enough where it's gonna hurt anything. So you don't need to be worried about that. I'll show you all the drive modes and stuff, but okay. I will um, update you guys in the next oh, couple gosh. minutes when she's kind of driven it a little bit and we'll see what she thinks What if of I it. got rear-ended? It'd make for a great day one of Vlogmas. That's all <laughs> I'll say about that. Gosh, this thing drives like a beauty. BMW, new BMW, drives like a little luxury car. Oh my Until you put God. it in like the sport mode and then it really kind of wake, wakes it up a little bit. Wow. I just put her in M mode. Oh gosh, I'm scared. Let's see, I mean, you don't even be scared, it's stock. It's not like it's gonna be crazy or anything. Well, you are driving like a little weighty. Okay, you're still barely touching oh, it. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yeah, I can tell. It's okay, it's okay. I get it, new car, you're responsible. Wow, I feel like we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna leave it as that. I'm really nervous when I drive new cars. Like, when I get a new car, I drive it very, very safe, like for the first, like, five times. Catch me in five days. I'll be fucking whipping this thing. But not in the first drive. Wow. Now, she didn't give it the beans, but I'll be driving home, boys. We're stopping for dinner. Just sit here and just admire this with me. Wow. Let's give a little group lock. Yes, sir. Oh, God, it's so good. Best pizza and brew. If you're the person who owns this restaurant, you have a water dispenser that's not from like the fountain, and it's like a little container, and it's always out, and it's so frustrating. And if you do, ever, I just want water. If you are in the area and you ever come here, get this oh. lemon ricotta cheesecake. Okay. And anyways, I, what I was gonna say was oh. getting a lot of compliments on the uh, sweatshirt this from a bunch is of randos. So good. Let me see the back. Let me see the back. Oh my gosh. That could be our guest. It's Gator approved. Gator rest, approved. Rest in parts, baby. Is this is me. When I die, this is me. <laughs> you see a TE in the back? TE 37, everything, boys. Oh, TE 37 for the M4? TE's on the. Sorry about it. Oh, uh oh. Did I just spoil it? Uh oh. She 
really needs an exhaust, which I'm hoping to solve for you guys, or solve for us, should I say, why in the next it, couple of days. What? Why does it like fart? Like it sounded like it took a shit like three times. Yeah, that is the BMW fart, babe. Really? Okay. I know. Yeah, it does this thing, and a lot of modern cars, do, your Urus does this, I think. I, in between uh, shifts, they go, what? Uh, what? Uh, Wow. But, oh man, it feels great. Really yeah, love this, the scar. This, this, this. It's really too dark for you guys to see this, but I just pulled the M4 up, parking it next to the M3. Feels good. Not gonna be putting this car inside because, well, one, it's already really dirty. I don't really care if it gets dirty because it's already dirty. But I have a bunch of JDM cars here that all of these, if they're sitting in the sun, all the dashes will get destroyed. And I already have been into multiple conversations with Sabrina about this as to why these cannot be outside, especially the S14. That dash is mint, and if it's outside, it's gonna crack. And the BRZ, this is my baby. This is my girl. It's my boo. And I, you know, she's very clean right now. So that's how that's gonna be inside, and the M4 is gonna be outside and that's blue pissing on a tree. All right, well in this drawer in my house is where I keep all the spare keys to all of the cars. So there's a bunch of little keys here also. I can't wait to set this up. I haven't finished it yet, but this is the M4 key that you can start and unlock the car with this key. So if you don't want to use this key, you can actually use a credit card. It's pretty cool. Haven't set that up yet, but I keep a bunch of just spare jet tags in here and I'm like, all right, what color am I going to be putting on the M4? Because on all of the cars, I wish I had a Hunt & Co key holder, but I don't. I just have these little magnets. Like, the blue BRZ has a blue jet tag. The blue M3 has a blue jet tag. Every single thing, like the Street Hunter Mark V has a Street Hunter jet key. You get the point. Every key has a marked and colored jet tag. And look what we have here, boys. Yes. Yes, this is the key for the M4. Let's go. But everyone, I would like to conclude Vlogmas Day 1. Truly cannot believe how fast Vlogmas has come this year. And again, I said in the beginning of this video, if you're new to Vlogmas, if you're new here, I think you're really gonna enjoy this next month. I personally love this because I love reading your comments and I love seeing you guys allow me to spend 15 to 30 minutes a part of your day. I love being a part of your guys' daily routine. You guys dedicate that 15, 30 minutes to me and it just means the world that I have a voice to showcase. And I really would like to highlight a couple different things this month. This month, I'm really gonna focus on making a new vision board. If you've been watching the channel for a long time, it makes sense and you already know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, it's essentially a like board that you put up in your office or a bedroom or, or wherever you spend a lot of time. And you put up a bunch of things, you print out pictures of things that you want to accomplish in the next month, six months, year, or in a lifetime. And it's something that you can look at every day and it kind of helps you kind of refocus um, at the end of every day or whenever you need it to kind of just see the goals that you're chasing. And this is something that I made during the very, very early stages of the channel that I believed helped me accomplish everything that I wanted to go after and everything that I have today, literally from the house to the cars to uh, you know, whatever. What I just said was very materialistic things, but it doesn't have to be materialistic. It could just be like being happy in general. Like that's the beauty of it. I'm gonna be making a new one this month and I'm gonna be challenging you guys to do it with me. We will build our vision boards together. And I just think it's such a strong and powerful tool to use because our mental state controls reality. And I think to really like break that down and with, without getting like too like deep in that realm, like just really like as you end this video, really take away and I want you guys to kind of feed on this until tomorrow because I'm gonna see you in tomorrow's video. What we see in front of us is our reality and our mind and our perception and our, uh, I guess, just lens of life controls reality. We control the emotions that we feel. We control the way we react to certain things in life. And I truly believe that is the key. And we'll touch more on this throughout the month. And I really kind of want to talk about this because I think it's so important to kind of have a positive mental outlook and it kind of goes hand in hand with the vision board. I will talk more about it. I'm no expert, but I have a very strong personal experience with all of this and I love talking about it with you guys. And I love hearing you guys' thoughts in the comments, but Regardless, happy Vlogmas. Day one, it's back. Favorite time of the year. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Thank y'all so much for watching and rocking with me today. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and keep moving forward.